what fascinates us about him. What made him into the person that he is today? What motivates people to hate him and to visit him? Metal Leute, this is the story of Drachenlord. Ich weiß nicht, wer es war. Irgendjemand hat meine Schwester mit einer PC-Computerstimme angerufen und gemeint, pass auf, ich weiß, wo du wohnst. Wer auch immer das war, traut euch, kommt zu mir als Schauerberg 8 in 91448 ins Kirchen. Traut euch, kommt zu mir und legt euch mit mir an. Ich prügel die Scheiße aus euch raus. What you just saw was an excerpt from the video I'll finish you fucking haters from February 5th, 2014. The address wasn't censored, since Reiner still has it in his channel description and that is also generally known. Also, as of March 1st, 2022, he no longer lives at the mentioned address. Reiner always claims to have realized his mistake and to have deleted the video after a few minutes. All the same, the internet does not forget. On February 6th, the video New Format Hater Support was published, in which he rants about haters and then reaffirms that the hate does not bother him. He also claims to get contacted online by women regularly who want to chat with him about sex, although he assumes that they are mostly men pretending to be women. He also claims to have a girlfriend with whom he is in an open relationship. On February 7th, Drachenvlog, der Mettler spricht, number 19, 200 subscriber special info, was uploaded, in which he announces that he'll talk about Nordic mythology in his 200 subscriber special. On the 8th of February, Rainer uploaded info for new format Metal in Movies and Games, in which he uses a green screen for the first time. He showcases his favorite movie, which is Labyrinth from 1986. 21 Facts About Dragon Lord was uploaded on the same day. First, he introduced himself as Rainer, spelled with an A and an I, which is very important to him. Fact number 4 is about his weight. He claims to weigh between 309 and 331 pounds. In fact, number five, he emphasizes, quote, Although I'm quite a fat guy, I'm also simultaneously a quite fit guy. According to fact number seven, his blue-gray eyes sometimes change color. With fact eight, he calls music something epic. He claims to listen to rock, gothic, metal, industrial, techno, and electro, but also hip-hop and classic. He also claims that he would die for metal if need be. In fact, number 9, he says that Italian food isn't foreign food to him, since he is in part Italian. According to fact number 10, his dream is world peace, or harmony. Correspondingly, he is against anyone who abuses or bullies others. He also says that he aspires to have a wife, children and money. One day, he also wants to drive a Dodge Cobra. According to fact number 13, he is currently single and thinks that he will stay single for a while. He also offers interested viewers to contact him. In fact, number 14, he asserts that he is bisexual, but also says that he is only capable of feeling romantic love for a woman. In fact, number 15, he calls his favorite game series Zelda, or Zelda as he pronounces it, as one of the most epical epose, epose not being a real word. According to fact 19, his favorite animals as a child were dragons. Should their existence ever be proven, he would accept them as his favorite again. In fact, number 20, he claims his guideline to be the golden rule. Treat others as you would like others to treat you. In fact, 21, he asserts that he mainly believes in life after death and that the soul lives on. On February 9th, the video, They Just Don't Get It, the absolute last video about haters, Promise, was uploaded, in which he reaffirms again that he was bullied in school. Den Metal, Black Metal, Death Metal, Pagan Metal, Viking Metal, Industrial Metal und weiß der Geier. Das kann man alles in einem Wort zusammenfassen. Jetzt habe ich das Wort vergessen. On the 10th of February, one day after his so claimed last video about haters, the video Drachenvlog, der Mettler spricht, number 20, Band Project, was uploaded, in which he announces a new format, Hater Support, in which haters will be the central topic. On February 13th, new format, Hater Support, number 2, appeared, 
in which Rainer reports about catfishing attempts and telephone threats. His phone number was apparently found out by the haters through his mother. He also once again prompts people to come to his house instead of calling him. On February 14th, the video Drachenlock, der Mettler spricht, number 21, 300 subscribers, was uploaded, in which he announces his new Facebook site, Rainer Winkler against Bowie. On the 17th of February, Rainer uploaded the video Metal Bands and Artists in Movies and Video Games, today Rammstein. On February 20th, three videos were uploaded. In Announcement, Metal for Everyone, the radio station Info, Rainer tells that he now operates an online radio station. In My Home from My View, he shows some outside recordings of a snow-covered Schanze and surroundings. In Time of Metal number 1, he mainly tries to justify himself with regard to criticism from his viewers. On February 21st, Fight Against Abaddon, Correction and Info, Please Watch appeared, which also mainly consists of Rainer's defiant behavior with respect to criticism. On February 23rd, he announces in Vlog des Drachen number 1 to end the format Hater Support again. Finally, on February 28th, Rainer's 100 subscriber special, 100 sub special Nordic Mythology Basics was released, which was in total over one hour long. On the same day, Rainer uploaded the video Happy Birthday, Simeon. On March 4th, the video Time of Metal No. 2, Autogrammikarten, appeared, in which he asks his viewers if they would like autographed cards from him. On March 9th, Vlog des Drachen No. 2, Short and Sweet, was published, in which one can see him sitting on his roof deck. On the same day, Rainer also uploaded the video Amendment, in which he reports to have rejected the partnership with the media network because they asked him to delete some videos. On March 15th, the video Time of Metal No. 3 fan merch was released, in which he presents an online store he just created and states that he does not receive any money for the sold products. On March 16th, Rainer uploaded the video Vlog des Drachen No. 3, What Happened, in which he announces that he will soon shave. On the same day, the video Mettler in the Woods was also released, in which he walks through the forest and talks about his neighborhood. Since he is out of breath because of walking alone, he justifies himself by claiming to be sick. He also briefly introduces his horse Blue, tells stories of a robber knight and of the Middle Ages. On March 17th, Time of Metal No. 4, New Formats was released in which he announces a competition as well as new formats. Afterwards, he responds to criticism regarding his fan article store. On March 18th, Rainer uploaded the channel trailer, trailer number 3, which is over 10 minutes long. In it, he calls humanity filth and a parasitic life form, but then speaks out against violence. On March 20th, Competition the Second was released. The aim of the competition was to create a logo of a dragon for him. The prizes were autograph cards and a Metallica Seek and Destroy DVD as the first prize. It should be noted that at this time Rainer did not have 500 subscribers yet. On March 23rd, Vlog des Drachen No. 4 competition voting was released, in which he presents the submitted logos. The first contains a black sun, a symbol often associated with Nazism. In the second logo, the text uses Comic Sans. On March 26th, Time of Metal No. 5, Diablo 3 Distracts Me was released. In the video, he complains about the fact that some of the logos submitted for the contest seem to have been made by trolls. On March 30th, Rainer uploaded the video My Festival List 2014. On the same day, Vlog des Drachen No. 5, One Week Almost No Videos, also appeared. In the video, he explains that he won't showcase the band Absurd because they play National Socialistic Black Metal, or in short, NSBM. Afterwards, he explains that members of an NSBM forum have been trying to troll him for a long time and that he removed the logo from the competition because of the Black Sun. Also, he's allegedly asked by acquaintances whether his YouTube channel isn't embarrassing to him. On the 1st of April, the video Facebook is pissing me off was released, in which he announces to delete the Facebook page for Drachenlord. On the same day, the video Time of Metal No. 6 summary was released, which turned out to be very short, because Rainer still spends most of his time with Diablo 3. On April 2nd, Rainer uploaded the video My Top 5 Walt Disney Cartoons. On April 3rd, Competition the Second Resolution was published. 
He again comments about the logo which contained the black sun, it should have originally won, but was disqualified because of the symbol. The second prize was finally won by the logo which used Comic Sans. On April 6th, Rainer uploaded the video Vlog des Drachen No. 6 American Dragon. In it, he mentions having a friend over at the time of recording, one can hear this friend in the background on some occasions. On the same day, Time of Metal No. 7 Finished Projects was released. On April 9th, Rainer finally uploaded the 200 subscriber special titled 200 sub special Yggdrasil, in which he, just like with the 100 subscriber special, tries to introduce the viewer to Nordic mythology. On the 10th of April, the video 10 movies, 10 series of my childhood appeared. When talking about the anime Inuyasha, he mentions that he wants to learn Japanese in the future. On the same day, Vlog des Drachen No. 7, today earlier than usual, was released. On April 11th, Drachenlord in D3 My Crusader was released, in which he introduces his Diablo 3 characters. On April 14th, Rainer uploaded the video Time of Metal No. 8 Intro and Autographed Cards, in which he shows himself trying to integrate the winning logo into the intro of his videos. On April 17th, Rainer's YouTube presence was discovered by Lachshon.de, which was a website focused around sharing and discussing funny images. A thread was created, which was mainly used to make fun of him. On the 18th of April, the video Happy Easter Wishes You Drache was uploaded, in which he states that he is currently busy with work and family. On April 21st, Vlog des Drachen No. 8, Damn, Sick Again, appeared, in which he sniffles frequently and explains that he is sick. Afterwards, he reports to have discovered the program Blender and to have created an intro video in it. He also declares to be an atheist and reads out comments criticizing him for regularly announcing far more videos than he ends up releasing. On the same day, Time of Metal No. 9 of fan meetups and autograph cards was released. In the video, he cancels a fan meeting that he had originally planned for May 1st. On April 22nd, for the first time, a re-upload of the video Ich mach euch fertig, scheiß hater appeared, in which Rainer had given out his address. On the same day, Rainer uploaded the video The Difference Between Metalheads, The Revelation. The video is presumably comedy, he tries to depict different types of metalheads who are all played by him. Later, he also mentions, quote, his hip-hop face, which means he has listened to hip-hop at some point in the past. He mentions to have discovered metal originally through Linkin Park. On April 23rd, Important or Maybe Not was released, in which he complains that others are re-uploading his videos, threatens with legal action and claims that his second cousin is a lawyer. On the same day, the video How I Got Into Metal was released, in which he uses the intro he announced in vlog number 8 for the first time. After that, he apologizes that the sound is only in mono, and indeed, his voice is only audible from the left. He tells that he learned about national socialistic bands such as Lanza at the age of 10 to 12 via CDs he got at school. Later, he listened to new metal like Limp Bizkit or Linkin Park. He then mentions two friends through whom he got introduced to Dragon Force and hopes to maintain his friendship with them for a long time. On a Dragon Force concert, he also heard Pagan Metal for the first time, or as Rainer pronounces it, Pagan Metal. In the video, he also gets confused for a bit when trying to calculate his own age. Moment. 2009 müsste ich 20 gewesen sein, weil ich bin immer ein Jahr älter als das Jahr ist. Mittlerweile bin ich immer elf Jahre älter als das Jahr ist. Ähm. <lacht> Moment. Nee, ich bin immer ein Jahr älter als das Jahr. Also wir, wir haben jetzt 2014. Nee, elf Jahre, stimmt schon. Und ich werde jetzt 25 dieses Jahr. On April 24th, Short Stories by Baden was released. This video, however, seems to be lost at present. On the same day, the influence of Lachshon became noticeable on Rainer's Ask FM. For example, one of the numerous questions was Hello Drachenlord, your videos appear on more and more fun sites. Don't you think it's unwise to make your private life public in such a way, even if there are some normal users among your subscribers who are actually interested? Rainer replied, I have no idea what you mean, my private life is my private life and not public. Finally, on April 28th, in the early morning hours, Rainer discovered a threat about himself on Lachshon and got upset about it. He counters the accusation of being unemployed by claiming to work as a freelance entrepreneur. Since some users on Lachshon doubted that he was the real Drachenlord, he announced that he will confirm his identity with a video. 
As a result, Time of Metal number 9, Lachshon.de, Not Funny, appeared. As he had announced on Lachshon, he greets the viewers in Japanese with Ohayo gozaimasu. He then apologizes for acting out of line on Lachshon and claims to have deleted his account now. On the same day, Vlog des Drachen number 9, Topics Important to Me, appeared. In the video, he again talks about the possibility of a subscriber meeting, which he would like to organize together with other YouTubers, but still wants to wait until he has a few thousand subscribers more. But he announces that he wants to meet fans at festivals. He also proves a questionable understanding of anatomy by claiming that humans do not have upper jaws. On the same day, he claimed to be single on Ask.fm. On April 30th, Drache and the Drum Kid, Will That Go Well, was released. At the beginning of the video, he complains about his dust allergy, which is bothering him. Then he lets the viewers know that he is currently working on a secret project. He then briefly demonstrates his skills on the drums. On May 1st, Rainer uploaded the video, Hamster, another arms on YouTube, now this time only Hamster. In it, he proudly presents his two Jungarian dwarf hamsters. He did not give names to the two, a male and a female. Rainer assumes that the animals have already received a name from their hamster mother, which he does not know because he does not speak the language of the hamsters. He also suspects that the female could be pregnant as he has kept them in the same cage for some time. Also on the same day appeared the video, small survey for 700 subscribers, in which he asks his viewers to tell him what exactly they like about his channel and to send him photos of their favorite metal pose. On Ask.fm, he answered the question, what role does television play in your life and in the life of your family, with none, since I have no need to be manipulated by the media. On May 3rd, Vlog des Drachen number 10, Challenge Time appeared. In the video, he talks about Lachshon again, but calls it only, quote, that one website. In the middle of the video, a noise suddenly startles him. Towards the end, he shows photos of subscribers in their favorite metal pose, which they have sent him because of a challenge. On May 5th, an informational vlog today as an exception appeared. In it, he complains several times about cars passing by his house and the noise that they make. He also mentions contacting the YouTuber Dunkle Parabelritter. On the 6th of May, Ladehemmung wrote on Lachshon, his latest video has 610 views. On LS, short for Lachshon, the post with the video has 658 views. I think if he pursues legal action against LS, he shoots himself in his own dragon foot because then the views go down dramatically. This proves once again that Rainer's following, even in the early days, consisted largely of haters and trolls. Some Facebook pages which made fun of him, like Heil Rainer 88 or Rainer Winkler against Chemtrails, also circulated. On May 7th, he released a video, Vote for Master Jam, in which he asks viewers to vote for Master Jam from Apple War Pictures for the Web Video Awards. Apple War Pictures being a German comedy skit channel. He also explains that he deliberately mispronounces genre because he doesn't like the French language. On May 11th, Vlog des Drachen number 11, Equilibrium, was released, in which he mentions that one website again. Since users of Lachshun accuse him of having profited off of them, he replies that he never asked for their support. Then he talks about the band Equilibrium, confuses narcissistic with national socialist again, and explains that his partly strange pronunciation comes from his Franconian dialect. On the same day, Big Bang wrote on LS, One thing you have to give Dragonlord real credit for. He just pulls through with his shit. For over a year he gets almost no views, more dislikes than likes, but he sticks to it. To work on something that takes a certain amount of effort for one year is an accomplishment, no matter how pointless it is. On May 12th, Rainer uploaded the video, Time of Metal, number 10, the autographed cards are here. A constant rattling of his PC can be heard in the background. He shows five different designs for autograph cards and asks the audience to tell him which one they prefer. Then he opens a Rockstar energy drink and toasts to 800 subscribers. On May 14th, the video Bad News appeared, in which he announces that he will not be able to create the videos for the week because his paternal grandmother had a stroke, and he suspects that she will die soon. Then he continues talking about autograph cards. On the 18th of May, the video Vlog des Drachen number 12, I couldn't think of a name for this episode, was uploaded. He discloses that he was told that his grandmother would probably die at the end of the week. Afterwards, he presents the motive for planned autograph cards and responds to comments. 
On the same day, Lachshan discovered Rainer's profile on Metal Flirt and Rainer answered the question, which person of the opposite sex did you last talk to with my hairdresser? On May 19th, Rainer uploaded the video, Time of Metal number 12, I was recognized, ah, in which he enthusiastically reports to have been recognized in Nuremberg by a metalhead. He also assumes that several people recognized him, but were too shy to talk to him. He announces that he will not sell the autograph cards, but rather send them to fans. Merchandise, fan meetings and autograph cards. Even at this point in time, Rainer's following consisted mainly of ill-disposed haters and trolls. Either he could not understand this, or could not accept it. Instead, he took refuge in wishful thinking of fame and longed to be celebrated as a YouTube star.